Lata Pada considers art more than just a way of life. For her, it is the very essence of living. From her earliest years, dance has been her constant companion. It has taught her strength, discipline, and grace. It has given her support, comfort, and a lifetime of joy. It has been both a means of expression and a path to healing. Born in Bangalore, India, Lata Pada was one of four children. Her parents instilled in her and her siblings a love of art in all its forms. I started training in dance when I was six years old. My parents have always supported me, passionate about the arts themselves. My mother is a vocalist herself and also involved in the visual arts. In 1964, Lata came to Canada to marry. Her husband, Vishnu Pada, was a geologist with INCO and was working at their mining operation in Thompson, Manitoba. Moving to Canada from India was quite a contrast. I was raised in the bustling city of Bombay with a population of 8 million. And here in November of 1964, I was moving to the wilderness of northern Manitoba. Though she had a university degree, the size of the town offered limited employment. Latta was able to find work as a bank teller and soon was well known within the community. Both she and her husband were involved in many social service projects. I was often invited to the schools and various service clubs in Thompson to present lecture demonstrations on Indian dance and I believe that provided an insight into the art and the cultural traditions of India. In 1969, Vishnu was transferred to INCO's Indonesian operations where the couple spent 10 years raising their two young daughters, Brinda and Artie. In 1979, the family returned to Canada, this time to live in Sudbury, Ontario. Because Sudbury had a large South Asian community, Lata was able to return to her art. In 1985, tragedy shook the very foundations of Lata's world. Her husband and two daughters were traveling to meet her in India when their plane exploded in midair off the coast of Ireland. She remained in India, sought the solace of her family and the healing nature of her art. When I first heard about the crash, instinctively I thought of dance as being the only thing I wanted to get back to. I returned to my dance with a passion. And several years later, I realized that dance was the most therapeutic activity that I could have ever chosen for myself. Indian dance is a very spiritually grounded activity. The themes we dance are devotional and philosophical. Through my dance, I got several of the answers I was looking for to cope with my pain and my loss. Dance at this point had become an all-encompassing passion for me, but I desperately wanted to come back to Canada. This is where I felt most rooted, most at home. I would always return to India, of course, for spiritual and artistic inspiration. In 1989, Latta returned to Canada, and in 1990, she established the Sampradaya Dance Academy and Sampradaya Dance Creations in Mississauga, and once again began teaching and performing. Since then, Sampradaya Dance Academy has become one of the largest schools of South Asian dance in Canada. Dance is a wonderful discipline for the mind and the body. It requires the highest amount of concentration, of self-discipline, almost a form of meditation. As a teacher, her work extends beyond the Sampradaya Dance Academy and into the larger community. I really enjoy working with children and taking my dance to the schools in Ontario. I work with Dare Arts Foundation, an organization that works with inner city schools in Toronto. I really do believe that tomorrow's audiences are nurtured in today's youth. Lata Pada is the founder, artistic director, choreographer, and principal dancer for Sampradaya Dance Creations. As one of only two professional South Asian dance companies in Canada, Sampradaya has received critical acclaim and is recognized both within Canada and internationally for innovative performances which combine the classical Indian dance forms with themes that reflect contemporary Canadian values. In 1997, the company did an extensive Canadian tour and they performed regularly at the Premier Dance Theatre, Du Maurier Centre, 
and other venues in the region. I would say my long-term goals for dance is to take Indian dance into the mainstream in Canada. And for me, the real satisfaction will come when Indian classical dance is no longer viewed as a culture-specific activity or something to be admired for its exotica. Among her more than 500 performances are some remarkable highlights, including a command performance for the President of India in 1992, two extensive solo tours of North America, and participation in many international festivals in countries including China, Mexico, Colombia, Indonesia, and Canada. She has more than 20 choreographic works to her credit, many of them intercultural collaborations with artists of diverse dance genres. Included in her body of collaborative choreographic work is Cosmos, a cross-cultural work that took 14 years to complete. At the age of 48, Lata returned to graduate studies and in 1997 earned her Masters of Fine Arts at York University. In 1990, she became involved in the development of the Mississauga Living Arts Center. She is currently a member of the center's Arts and Entertainment Committee. She is a founding member of the South Asian Advisory Committee at the Royal Ontario Museum. In 1995, I was one of six people with a passionate desire to establish a stronger presence of South Asia at the ROM, which would include a permanent South Asian gallery, a curatorship, and regular programming of South Asian art and culture at the ROM. Her profile within the arts community and her incredible life experiences has made Lata much in demand as a lecturer, speaker, and panelist. Her personal story has been featured in full-length documentaries on Vision TV and TV Ontario. Lata is often asked to present workshops on a wide range of topics, from entrepreneurs in the arts to coping with peer pressure. I feel deeply privileged for having had the opportunity of sharing my art here in Canada and more importantly for passing on this great art form to a new generation of Canadians. Lata Pata's life is a testament to the vital role of the arts to individuals and to society as a whole. Through her dance she has taught us about grace, joy and the essence of